Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Calmston Farm here in Farming Simulator 22 with me CYT. Just going around uh, the cultivator doing the uh, giving it a bit of a greasing up having done the uh, cultivating on field 23. It is unfortunately pouring with rain currently here on the farm hence whilst I'm now staying in the shed where it's nice and dry and poor old Gerald is out there doing ploughing um we've got a nice rainbow as well look ladies and gentlemen because it's raining right i've been giving it a bit of thought and um we, we are in a bit of a desperate situation i've just bought a stone picker because obviously our fields are going to be covered in stones following uh the ploughing and also the cultivating uh, which is not great because that means I've got not a lot of money left. In fact, I've got about 77,000. Yeah, 77,000 sitting in my funds. Um, which isn't great. It's not great. Because um, obviously we've still only got the one tractor. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing... We've got 77,000 litres of canola. Okay. Which is worth quite a bit of money. General store, store it's worth £1,111. Okay. So that's at least 77,000 we can get from selling the canola right now. I know it's not the best time of year. We, ideally, we want to wait till December. But money's tight. Uh, alternatively, we could sell barley. We've got 113,000 litres of that. However, again, prices in September, not great. Plus, it's only worth half of what the canola is. So we'd only get about, you know, 50, 55, you know, 57,000 if we sold all the barley. Hmm. Plus, we're going to need a, a way to transport it. You know, obviously, we've got our little trailer here, which is 12,000, you know, 500 litres. It's a little bit on the small side, ladies and gentlemen. And we don't have a tractor. Now, I could lease a tractor. I could go and rent one for the day. Um, but, um, hmm. It's tricky. It's a tricky one to, to sort out. I mean, I could go and volunteer myself for a bit of, um, for a bit of, uh, supply 45,000 litres of stones for the debris crusher for 11 grand. Hmm. What could I make? How could I make myself useful? Bit of fertilising. Thirty-eight grand. Bit of cultivating. Field thirteen fertilising for twenty-eight thirty-eight grand. I'm guessing that's going to be a massive field somewhere. Probably that one. I'm guessing. Can't be that one. It's ready to harvest. Field 13. Not 18. 13. Okay, that is over here somewhere. That one. Oh boy, that's a big field. We can do that though. Right, I am going to head over to the store because obviously Gerald is busy. 
with our tractor. I'm going to go and make us a little bit of money. See, there's my stone pick a lot. There's my lovely stone picker. Right, uh, I need some, I need some pallets of fertilizer, solid fertilizer, 1,920. That's 1,820. A big bag fertilizer. Uh, I don't know how much this thing holds. Oh, four. See what happens. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's not going to tell me, is it? Uh, I need to put my um, hood on, folks. I can't see. Um, we're only about 40%. Right, let's, let's get a little bit more. It honestly doesn't matter too much. How much we get. Because what we don't use, we will get reimbursed for. take that and we'll head to field 13 now how do i get to field 13 from the store uh, good question be nice if i could take a shortcut through one of these fields. Keep her eyes peeled for a gate somewhere. We might be able to open. Okay, there's a gate here. Now, is there a gate the other end of the field? Uh, well, there is. But it's going into there. And I kind of want to go this way, don't I? Yes, that's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely perfect. Don't need to worry about that gang. So we can get to the field. Without treading all over the, the, the nice farmer's crop.
we've got crop friendly tyres anyway, it wouldn't really matter too much if we did drive on his field, but you know, let's be polite. I wouldn't like it if somebody came driving all over my fields. Um, we will stick to... this very big field probably going to tank more fertilizer than I thought but we shall see Again, it's just a chance to make a little bit of money whilst our tractor's currently in use. Might as well let Gerald plow both the fields that need plowing and then I can do the stone picking. The good thing is we'll make money from the stone picking because we'll be able to sell the stones. I don't know whether we'll get 42,000 litres worth of stones <laughs> to be able to do that supply contract. Probably not. Um... But, hey, it's a start. Like I say, if we can maybe get to October, get through the month, and then maybe in October, look at selling the canola and the um, barley and the wheat, and then get some equipment. We're going to need a cedar as well rapidly i've been having a bit of a browse through the shop at what cedar i want to get i think i've located the cedar i want that will be ideal um it's just a case of financing it financing it Certainly based on the prices of the crops and the yield that we got off the fields, I think the field that we planted, the we had the barley on at the start, that we harvested the barley off, I think that's our biggest field. So I think it makes sense to maybe put canola on that. Um going forward so we get a bigger canola harvest because canola is probably our, our our most profitable crop certainly the crop that sells for the best price um if we can get a big yield of that um i don't know what else we could try we could try some oats maybe on another field Wheat and barley, it's a little bit on the cheap side, really. It's a little bit on the cheap side. It's not going to make us tons of money um, initially whilst we're here on the farm. So I'm probably not looking at maybe planting that um, again this this for this coming year. Um, we might try something else again. Bring in a bit more of a harvest and um, hopefully make us a bit more money then when we sell the crop. Again, much like with the Hout Baylor on save, things like sunflowers and corn probably not on the agenda um, because that would require a, a specialised combine header, which again really don't have the money for at this early stage 
same as for planting specialized crops like potatoes sugar beets sugar cane cotton any of that sort of stuff because um yeah it's going to cost us a fortune get equipment then to harvest it that's not to say we won't do it one day we will but we've just got to be a little bit you know we've got to be a bit careful with our money you know we don't have endless resources we don't have jeff i don't have jeff bezos funding me you know i don't have that sweet amazon money funding my let's play series and my recordings um so we can't really uh go spending tons and tons and tons of stuff um right out the gate here on the farm I mean, don't forget, I've got to pay Gerald. I've got to pay his wages. Um. Right, we've done. One trip around the field. He's rolling. Needs lime. Okay, folks. That's pretty good. What I'm going to do now, I can see where I've already driven. What I'm going to do, this fancy, because this is a rental tractor, this fella's got GPS. Perhaps I should take advantage of that. Can I please have a waypoint there? Yes. And then can I have another one, please? Thank you. This is good. This is good. Right, we're going to go straight down the field this time. I'm just going to work up and down, back to the other side of the field. Hopefully, that will give us enough coverage to complete the contract. Maybe the farmer won't notice if I miss little bits of the field here and there, and a little bits in the a few little bits in the corners. <laughs> you know, we're not experts at this. You know, I'm sure Jeremy wouldn't be very good at fertilising. He's a guy that didn't understand tram lines. This field hasn't got any tram lines, so we're not in a process of following it. But again, it makes me wonder, would you really, in real life, fertilise sunflowers that are at this growth stage? Because you're kind of smashing them. And I'm pretty sure they wouldn't bounce back like that in real life if you drive over them with a tractor. turn good thing is it's a good width you know good good sized fertilizer spread of this it's actually doing this field fairly fairly quickly amazoni zgts 1001 we'll remember that it might be something we want to consider getting for our farm
Oh, that's not looking good. I might have to fill that bit in. Um, Gerald is... He's still doing okay up on field three. Um, I'd say once he's finished that... Hang on a minute. Field two is there. Field two has nothing planted on it. Needs ploughing. Hmm. Didn't realise that. Didn't realise we owned field two as well. Forgot about that. Um. Yeah, so poor old Gerald. He's got a lot of ploughing to do. I'm almost wondering if I could be a little bit cheeky. Would I be a little bit cheeky, do you think? Before I return this tractor, do you think I could borrow it? Get my trailer and sell a bit of canola? Do you think they'll let me use the canola, the, this tractor for just doing a bit of trailer driving? It's not, I wouldn't be using it for field work, would I? So I wouldn't technically be breaking the, this equipment is reserved for contract use only. Hmm. Might have wanted a bit of a meteor tractor with, with less than skinny wheels. It might struggle. It might just struggle to pull the trailer. Sun's coming out though. It's brightening more. It's gonna be a nice afternoon now. Sunflowers are going to perk up. Look at them. They're already kind of standing up. Reacting to the sunlight. Getting themselves tuned in. I do like that in the game. That over the course of the day, the sunflowers kind of rotate with the sun. So they're always facing it. I do like that. I do like that little effect. Quite clever. And the rain has stopped. It's good news. Must be windy as well because it's like the trees are the the sunflowers are blowing in the wind as well. in the middle of the field now. So the field should get, start getting smaller from this point out.
Yeah, Gerald's doing good. We're doing all right too. How are we doing on the contract? What percentage are we at? 73%. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, there's some decent cultivating contracts there, which, and if we had another tractor, I mean, there's 51,000 51, for a contract there for seeding. Fifty one thousand seeding. Field seventeen, that's a big field. Uh that's that one there. That's probably gonna take quite a lot of seed, I would imagine. Probably more than that cedar could hold in one go. Yeah, how much would that, in all likelihood, take to seed? It's a shame we don't have the estimated seed use calculator thing. Yeah, field two, that's a nice field, actually. Uh, another thing I was thinking of doing, um, to try and generate a little bit of cash, so maybe we can still do a wheat or barley harvest this year because i've actually got an extra field then because uh, that's going to be a decent sized field so we can do canola um maybe oats and then we could do something down here and then we could do like a wheat or barley over here um what's the crop calendar look like uh, we can't plant sorghum until beginning of the year but we would might be able to, yeah we could do sorghum on a field another thing i was thinking of doing to try and generate money was to get myself a little mower and a baler Baylor come wrapper because we've got quite a few grass fields we have and I could basically go and mow all the grass fields do a whole load of silage bales sell those for you know extra income this year because we've got field 8 we've got field 34 we've got field 11 Field 15 inside the cow pen. We've got field 31, which is the sheep pen. We've got field 4. We've got field 35. You know, all those could be mowed. We've probably got inside here inside here i don't know if tr the tree if the the trees completely blanket that area or not there's something to check 
because we could make quite a, we could do quite a bit of silage before the end of the year and that'd be perfect time for selling the silage then get the bales wrapped i mean again money wise although that to be fair we could lease a baler we could lease a baler for a day or two couldn't we i mean i'm sure they don't cost that much Transport all the bales. Transport all the bales and we'll be on a winner. Let's have a look. Oh, we don't really need to be wasting fertiliser on that bit then, do we? We can head straight down here. And waste fertiliser on this bit. Which will finish off that area there. We probably do need to come and do brick down here. Well, that was the row we kind of started on, wasn't it? So we probably want to be going down the row on this side. And we can afford to travel quite a bit, actually. Be about there now. Yes, that'll do. Contract will be complete. We can re return the fertilizer spreader. We'll get a bit of money back because we haven't used all the fertilizer. Um, we'll get reimbursed for that. I might look at starting that seeding contract then. Even if I borrow the the farmer's equipment, it's not gonna. You know, 51 grand is still quite a nice bit of money. That will, um, pay handsomely. Again, the problem is the cedar, really. Uh, Right, contract was completed, so we don't need to do any more. Set this back to the store. Get it all returned. We will be heroes. That'll make us a nice little bit of money. I definitely think we need to get on and do the, um, we need to get on and do crop selling. We're going to have to sell crop. Um, right, we go back this way, don't we? The only way I'm going to get a lot of money is going to be the canola. The canola's the most expensive crop we've got. Because ideally, we want it, we definitely want to be planting before the planting window runs out. We don't want to miss the planting window. If 
if we can help it. That would be a disaster. If we don't actually get crop in the ground before winter, that would be a disaster. rock picker complete reimburse we get 3719 pounds back for the unused fertilizer 36 grand excellent job Lemkin Solaire. Let's just have a look at that cedar quickly. I think it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. Holds 5,800 litres of seed. Mm, okay, so there's no fertilizer required. So that I could fill up. It's nearly 6,000 litres of seed. That should do that whole field. I mean, it's 50 acres, 50.93 acres. Should about do it. I'm going to lose five grand. So for borrowing the equipment, which brings that down to 46,000. Still 46, and then obviously minus the seed. Uh, yeah. Why not? We can't really do out else at the minute because Gerald is still doing what Gerald's doing. Right, now here's another little trick I've learned. When you check, like, see, 900 pounds, 1,000 litres. 800 pounds for 1,000 litres. That's saving 100 pounds already. And if we come in here, that's 950 for 10,050 litres. For a thousand and fifty liters, so for an extra fifty quid, you can have an extra fifty liters of seed. Um, we've got room for five thousand and eighty, haven't we? Five, uh, five, is it five thousand eight hundred? I bought five pallets of that. That would give me. 5,250, wouldn't it? I think we go with six pallets of that stuff. Fill that up. Chain bulk fill doesn't seem to want to work on the big bags. There we go, 5,800 litres. We can head over to now to field 17, which from the store 
And it's pretty much, pretty much back towards the farm. Head south. Right. We can do that, kids. We can do that. Off we go. So yeah, I will carry on. Carrying on and get this uh, seeding contract done. Earn a nice little bit of money. I might include a nice little bit of time lapse and footage of that in the next episode. Um, whilst we are doing other things, I might do a little bit of uh, picture in picture up in the corner of the screen somewhere. Include a nice little shot of me doing the uh, me doing the uh, uh, seeding. Same way as I probably included a nice picture in picture of Gerald doing some ploughing. In this episode, there is Gerald actually. He's he's missed a few bits. Have to sort the corners out, Gerald. So yeah, we head this way. Follow the road down. Stay on this road for a little bit longer. Almost as if we was heading towards the um, Cotswold stores. Where we delivered all our stuff to. Oh, dead deer. Oh, dead deer. Free range venison. Need to head up this road a little bit. Field 17 will be on our right hand side. And this hill, this hill puts vehicles to the test, doesn't it? a small gate. Oh boy. Right, GPS course has been programmed. I'll get to work. Back her up a bit. Glad this isn't my cedar, because your field is covered in rocks, man. Think of the damage. But anyway, seeding has commenced. So, join me in the next episode, everybody, where this job will be finished. Hopefully, I'll have done all the ploughing as well. And we'll be ready to move on to the next parts of the farming process. So, thank you for watching today's episode, everybody. Please go ahead and make sure you've clicked that like button for me. It really helps the channel out, really helps me out. If you remember to click like on the videos. Please leave your comments for me in the comment section down below. Please remember to subscribe to the channel as well if you're not already doing so. Share this video with everyone you can, everywhere you can. And I'll be back with some more Comston Farm action for you very, very soon. But for now, from me, Siwani, it's goodbye.